guys assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hello guys welcome to the channel hope you're having yourself a wonderful beautiful amazing friday juma mubarak welcome to the channel inshallah we're going to be reacting to is kfc in indonesia the same as america so stay tuned we're going to get started with that video in just a couple of minutes for those of you who are new and who just happened to come across uh, this channel for the first time i'd like to take a moment to welcome you guys i upload videos every day and uh if you guys want to be part of this channel and like my content please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when i upload a new video stay tuned guys we'll be right back. Welcome back guys, we're gonna get uh, started with the video momentarily. I have my headset on, so if I need to react throughout, inshallah we'll be doing that. If not, at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction. So now let's get started. KFC in Indonesia, is it better than America? I don't know. Oh, what the heck? What do you think this is? It looks like a little burger, right? But in reality, what's an Indonesian? Do you have Indonesian special here? Is KFC in Indonesia, Bali, Indonesia, the same as in America? Let's find out. What's up, y'all? It's 1 a.m. in the morning. I just landed in Bali. Feels like a third home, for real. When you've lived in a place for more than a month, you feel good here. But the only thing is this. As a traveler, I feel like I'm coming home to stagnant water, if that makes sense. Not that this place is bad, but I feel like I've already been here. I've lived on this island for a month, had a great time. But so many people were like, yo, Bali is not even close to what Indonesia has to offer. And I'm feeling the itch to travel again. I'm feeling the itch to get into a new place and literally feel totally lost. Right now, I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down the street, live in the same house, wake up in the morning, go to the same breakfast place. But as a traveler, I need something new. I'm thinking 1 a.m., I walk from the international departure and arrival to the domestic departure arrival and I walk up to a counter and I say hey can I get on a flight in the next hour to somewhere else we'll see what they have available hopefully someplace like Jakarta Yogyakarta whatever one of the major cities I want to go to one of the major cities one of the major islands and I want to land tomorrow and explore an entirely new part of Indonesia we'll see what happens baby let's go from the title of the video you probably can figure out what happened. There are no more flights at this time of night out of the domestic part of the airport because it's a pretty small airport. They're not flying out all the time. The next flight out of the country will be in the morning around 10 a.m. So, as I normally am a traveler who does not like to spend a lot of money, I try to keep it cheap and budget. All of the taxis that are driving from the airport right now are overcharging. So what I figured I'd do is just walk 30 minutes to the nearest 24 hour store which happens to be a KFC and yes, this is gonna be another review video because I am hungry. It is late. They do have Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go there, eat some food, and see, man. Also, something that I really appreciate and that I've realized in my travels is when you try to travel cheap and you're stingy with your money, it allows you to have experiences. It allows you to have experiences that are usually better than the ones that you would have if you had more money. You know what I mean? Like, I'm walking in the middle of Bali. Who knows what I'm gonna see? I might see some nice street stands and decide to abandon the idea to go to KFC altogether. There's a stray dog in the middle of the street. What's up, bro? <laughs> you good? What's that, coyote? Encouragement to you guys who want to travel cheap. Do it and stick to your guns. And don't be scared. Oh, it's so just late. I'm in a foreign country, it. man. The people that live in the country <laughs> that you're in are people just like you, all right? They've been tired. They've walked outside at night before. And Bali's a pretty safe place, so. As a man, I feel chill. Free. Free. Okay, I'm walking down the street to KFC. My man here, what's your name? This one. This one? Yes. He works for Gojek. This is a famous like Uber bike company here. And he says, yo, I'm gonna drive you to KFC. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna try to get scammed. But then he kept being persistent. And he said, yo, I'll actually drive you for free. I hope so. he does, that'd be dope. KFC. KFC, what's up here? Like chicken. Thank you, sir. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the videos. This is Connor Sullivan. I am currently in Denpasar. I flew back from Germany, Cologne, just landed. It is 3 a.m., and this is going to be another episode of trying American food in foreign countries. I'm going to see if KFC, which is one of the only restaurants open right now, along with McDonald's, I'm going to see if KFC, Indonesian KFC, is the same as KFC in America. Why am I going to do this? Because it's very late. And this is one of the only restaurants open because I am hungry. 
And this is one of the only places serving food. And that's about it. Boom baby, let's go. And you Part two of the installment. Last time I went to McDonald's and we found some major differences and this time we're in KFC. I'm looking at the menu. So far the only difference that I see is the rice. I don't think they serve rice at KFC in the States. Again, they have the chocolate matcha green tea ice cream. They don't have that in the States. What else is different here? They have a KFC rice box. I'm just gonna get the KFC rice box with the Indonesian spicy sauce and the matcha ice cream. It's pretty much the same thing. I feel like all fast food restaurants keep it pretty similar across the board. Oh, this is different. They have a lychee float. I don't think they have lychee floats or mango floats in America. Oh, they also have a porcadel. Porcadel is from in Indonesia? Okay, can I get one porcadel? Can I get one lychee float? What about mocha float? No float. Ice cream is no. Ice cream in every place is not working. Rice box? No rice box. Okay, can I get the uh, super basar? Do you have ketchup? Tomato sauce? You have tomato sauce here? Chili sauce there, okay. What's Indonesian? Do you have Indonesian special here? Chicken rice, Pepsi, and the pekadilla. All right, here we go. Part two fast food Indonesia. Pretty much the exact same difference. Look at this. What do you think this is? It looks like a little burger, right? But in reality, it's actually a little stack of rice. That's the major difference with fast food here in Indonesia versus in America. They do not serve rice in America. The same thing happened in McDonald's. And guess what? You actually can, I figured out, get tomato sauce here. You gotta ask them for it, but it doesn't taste the same. It tastes a little different. The majority of Indonesian people, what do they get? Chili sauce. See this? Chili sauce right here. Boom, 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 boom. And they eat the chili sauce with their fries, they eat the chili sauce with their chicken, and they eat the thing with the potato too. In Indonesia, they often have these little teeny potato things. And, I don't know, they're kind of like hash browns. Let's see how it tastes. Pretty good, bro. The chili sauce is hot. Every time it gets me. I was just in Germany for like five days and they're not doing the chili sauce. So I'm not really used to it, but I'm gonna go for it again because I gotta get my stomach ready. Look at that. Feels like a whole potato. Just like sliced up and then fried. Boom baby, let's go. Since I've never really been to KFC in America, do they have this weird pudding thing? I have no idea. Holy smokes, bro, what the heck? That's weird, bro. Look at that. Let's try it. Oh, that's so weird. That's like eating like, it's like eating chocolate milk that went bad. You know how the milk goes chunky? That's what it tastes like. It doesn't taste really bad, but look at that, bro. Just chunky milk. They didn't have many options up on the menu. The, they have the matcha green tea like type of mix thing, but as always, when you come to these fast food places, the ice cream machine usually breaks after 5 p.m., so. I'm not getting any ice cream because it's still 3 a.m. in the morning. Biggest difference about KFC in Indonesia, chili sauce number one, rice number two, matcha green tea as one of the flavors for drinks. Fast food places like to keep it pretty basic because that's what they do best. They don't make food that intense. But hey, I still gotta try the chicken. Indonesia got me hooked, not really hooked, but introduced me to some really good fried chicken because I go to this local place for breakfast every morning and I always get fried chicken. Fresh, bomb. Let's see if this can compare. It's not gonna compare, but let's try it. Before I eat this chicken, I have to let you guys know. This is only a substitute for street food because Indonesian street food is actually, absolutely bomb. And you should only eat KFC or McDonald's if it's like past midnight or you need Wi-Fi. And that's it, let's try it. Pretty dang good. <laughs> hmm. That's probably why they're still in business. Dang, they do it right. <laughs> KFC, big baller with the uh, chili sauce. They're pretty good, bro. I'll give that to them. Let's try it right though. Also, Indonesians, let me know. I heard that you guys eat with your hands and it's acceptable, but some people told me that you can only eat with one hand. Is it the right one or the left one? I don't know. Is that correct? Mmm, that's pretty much it. The verdict is out. 
fast food in every single country is pretty similar. They adjust the menu a little teeny bit to the country that they're in. So the rice and the chili sauce for KFC. And never go to a fast food restaurant in a foreign country unless you need Wi-Fi or it's too late. Other than that, eat the street food. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content. Let me know what I should post. I'm going to be flying to a different part of Indonesia next video. Let's go. Boom, baby. Let's go. Wow, guys, that looked pretty interesting. You know, he was showing a lot of stuff that we don't have here in Canada. So I was comparing it to Canada. He was comparing it to state. But he's saying that he's from uh, Germany. So I'm not sure why he was comparing it to state if he's never been there. <laughs> but so we don't have any of those floats, no mango, no matcha, nothing of uh, nothing like that. We don't have that uh, potato fritter because it's an Indonesian food item. There is no rice. There's no chili sauce. Yeah, so we just basically have like uh, fried chicken buckets. They sell them and then f there's fries and uh, they have chicken burgers, just different kind of chicken burgers. And uh, I think that that's about it. You know, the drinks wise, they have juice and, and Coke and Pepsi and whatnot. Um, yeah, just pretty, pretty simple, pretty boring. Uh, none, no location has any halal, so, you know can really enjoy it but i hear that in, in uk they have a lot of like uh for example like mcdonald's not mcdonald's i think kfc and whatnot that are halal uh, as well as subway and nando's but here in canada i think because the population of muslim is so small that there's not enough demand and he was questioning uh, about which hand do we eat with and uh, not only in indonesian uh, most if not all muslim countries we eat with uh, right hand for those of you that who might not know and we just eat with one hand and uh, we call the sunnah as a way of the Prophet Muhammad He used to eat with his uh, right hand. And that actually makes the food more uh, flavorful. And especially when you're sitting on the ground. Um, they say it's actually scientifically proven that you end up eating less because the way that we sit. Um, it's not natural, natural for us to be sitting on a table. Um, and that way we actually don't realize we end up eating more. So if you're sitting on the ground and eating, you actually feel full. And uh, when you eat with your hand, it's more flavorful over, uh, for example, spoons and, and forks and chopsticks and, and any other utensils, for example. Uh, overall, really, really, guys, uh, interesting. Can't wait, inshallah, to check out Indonesia. Uh, I'm trying to hit a million subs, inshallah, once I hit a million subs. I'm going to take the next flight out to Jakarta and check out Indonesia. So if you haven't subscribed, uh, hit that subscription button, guys. I'm slowly, slowly, inshallah, working towards a million subs. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, uh, share. And if you want to recommend for me to check out another video, please put in the comment section. As always, thank you very much, guys, for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family, inshallah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.